Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of BachelorVegas.com. And I'm standing here, guys, in front of the Encore. Okay, you can see that in the background. That is the Encore Hotel. And inside the Encore is Excess Nightclub, my uh, number one nightclub out here in Las Vegas. I've been out here for 11 years, and I've actually been coming to Excess for like 14 years. Okay, the place has been around forever, and the, uh, the Wind Nightlife Group operates this place, and it does uh, fantastic. Okay, they've managed to uh, hang on to their big hitters this year. They got all the big DJs like David Guetta, Kygo, Chainsmokers, Diplo, um, just to name a few. Okay, they, they also have Marshmallow, another big hitter. So they kept their whole lineup this year. Um, I don't think they really lost anybody major. I think they might have lost uh, like a Dom Dollar or something, and maybe you know a couple of the other smaller guys. Like a couple years ago, they lost or a year ago they lost Arl Grime, uh, but they still have like Dylan Francis and stuff. So the lineup is pretty much intact, and uh, the place continues to impress even after uh, 14, 15 years. It rock, it's still rocking. Okay, so this video is going to be about um, generally about the bottle service and the different options you have inside the club and outside the club, and. Um, like I said, I book a ton of tables here. Um, I buy what's called the uh, the trade from one of the ad agencies out here in town, and I'm able to get a little bit better deals and um, you know better placements and whatnot. And I do work with a lot of the hosts in internally here, so uh, you know, I pretty much can set you guys up here. This is my uh, my best spot, and I'm looking forward to uh, helping you guys out. Now, if you want to get on the tickets or get guest list, I'm going to have the link below. You can get on the guest list. My uh, promoter buddy Carlos will reach out, and then the uh, the tickets I sell those as well. Uh, but mostly, I, I concentrate on the bottle service here. And so let's talk about the different options now. Um they have uh, the DJ booth kind of like in the center, and on most of the nights, the DJ is going to face inside, but they also have the whole outside, which is, you know, a bunch of tables and whatnot, um, and, you know, it's still still cracking, okay? Now, on Sunday nights, they've really moved the party completely outside. They don't do the inside at all anymore, and the DJ faces outside, and on Sunday nights in the summer, it's going to be your night swing, okay? And in the winter months, they also did um, Wednesday nights here, but as soon as it gets warm enough, they're going to swing that back over and do the night swim over at Encore Beach Club, and then eliminate the Wednesday nights over here and kick in the Sunday nights at excess. So sun, excess in the summer months is just going to be, uh, you know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the night swim, and then um, Friday and Saturday are not a night swim, and then uh, you know during the week um, the Wednesday night party will be at Encore Beach at night, and then Encore Beach at night will be a night swim Wednesday. Um, Friday and Saturday. Okay, so let's focus on excess here and the bottle service options. Um, you got some tables. Um, those are considered like the VIP tables. It's called the stage. Uh, there's two big ones on the right and the left. Those are called the large day tables, stage tables. Those are going to be your most expensive tables. And they mostly have the prettiest girls kind of hang out up there by the DJ booth. And uh, they're, they're expensive, but they're really good. Okay, you're, you're still considered like outside, uh, but there is an overhang. So if it is happen to be raining, which is very rare out here, um, they are covered. Okay, now there's going to be other stage tables. Those are going to be like your, um, those are going to be the small stage tables. Those are going to be the ones a little bit further back, but still that area, um, they have like side stage, small stage, large stage. That whole area is like kind of roped off. They have a security guy on each side and you have to have a table to get in there or you have to be a hot girl. Okay. So that's kind of like the VIP area. Uh, so then, like I said, on the side stage, you're going to have a large side stage and there's also going to be like a four top small side stage. Okay. So those are your four options on the stage. Now, if you are going to go inside the club, which is where I do most of my bookings, uh, the best tables in the club are going to be your dance floor tables. All right. Those are going to be the horse shoe basically and I think there's um I think there's five on each side and uh, each each table is um you know awesome the ones in the center those are those are two considered the owner's tables okay and then behind those you're gonna have the upper dance floor tables um also really great tables the, the two in the center are a little bit bigger and those are gonna be your owner's tables um the ones on the ends okay they used to make those into two tables but they're just one big one now so if you got a bigger group like say 20 25 30 uh the ones on the end the two on the ends are the biggest ones okay those are really good now behind those there's gonna be kind of a walkway there's going to be your small third rows. Um, those are going to be like, um, they did add a couple more tables. By the way, they got rid of those stripper poles on the right and the left side. And now they have a couple more, they have one more small third row uh, that faces kind of the DJ, but you can't really see much from the end one there. And um, so they got a couple, uh, there's what, one, two, I think there's eight small third rows now. And then there's four large third row tables. Now those are called the big browns, we call them because they're brown tables and they're big. Good for like groups of 20. Those are very popular in the action. A lot of my customers really like those big brown tables. Now behind those is going to be your back wall tables. Uh, those tables are pretty good. They're elevated. Um, you can stand, you know, stand up on the table, see the, see the DJ from there. And uh, there's a lot of action on that walkway by the back walls, in between the third row and the back walls. So those are popular and pretty reasonably priced these days. Now, you also have some four top tables. One nice thing about excess that the other clubs don't really have is they do have some small tables for like groups of like two, four, six, for example, that aren't that expensive, and they're in the action. Okay, some of the four tops don't face the DJ. They face kind of like the back walls, if you will. Uh, but they're still pretty good tables if you want to meet people and mingle. Uh, there's a couple that I 
I really like. Um, they're now called 325 and 425. Then they made them a little bit bigger. They used to be 310 and 410. And those two are really good because they're bigger for groups of like, say, six to eight. Um, they face the bar. Um, you can stand up on the ledge and see the DJ from there. And those are those are two of my more popular tables to book. Now, there are a couple four top tables on the right and the left. They don't really use the ones on the left too much. They use that as a promoter girl guy, girl guy table uh, where they hang all the you know prettiest girls hang out for the promoters. But the other side, there's three tables there now, 301 to 303. And those v, those tables have a great view of the DJ uh, from the right-hand side. If you're looking at the DJ, and there's a window that opens up in the summer months. And those are four top tables that are very good. Okay, so 301 to 303, I book those all the time. Those are probably three of my favorite tables for, like, you know, couple or group of four or group of six girls and then 325 and 425 i book those all the time those are super popular tables for me now if you go outside your budget's a little bit uh light you know maybe for one of the tables inside or you got a bigger group and you got a light budget you might want to do one of the tables outside um there are some tables by the bar that are considered more prime tables um those are basically just going to be your you know, outside couches, okay? And those are, like I said, there's a lot of action in the summer months out by the bar. A lot of people like to, uh, you know, hang out there and, you know, chill because the music's not so loud. You can actually have a conversation. And those are really popular. Now, they do have some, um, in the summer months, a lot of times they'll have the platform up in between the, uh, you know, the stage, essentially, and the casino that's outside. They also have a casino outside. And those those platform tables are pretty good, okay? There's, like, premium ones toward the front, and then there's just regular platform tables. Um, those kind of become like a dance floor, although the DJs, you face and the DJ from the bind, there is kind of a dance floor there. Okay, so what they do, by the way, with the guest list, for the people that come in on the guest list outside, um, they generally don't let people inside because it gets too crowded. And so if you come in on the guest list, you might get stuck outside, so it kind of creates its own party out there. Now, on some nights, they let it free flow, and it's not, a, not an issue, but it's not every night. Now, there are also some poolside day beds. Um, those are basically alongside the pool. Those are really good on the night swim parties. They're pretty good on regular nights as well. They're bigger groups, you know, 15 to 20 can fit there. And uh, there's usually a lot of action um, on the walkway kind of behind you there. All right, so the poolside day beds are pretty solid. And then there's the, the upper and the lower cabanas. Okay, they're, the lower cabanas are generally open on the night club nights. And uh, those are kind of way back. I mean, you've got kind of a self-contained group. Maybe, you know, I booked it in like a group of 10 guys and 10 girls are not really looking to meet people. Those outdoor cabanas. Are reasonably priced or roomy, got a lot of room in there. You kind of have your own little private party back there. Okay, so they're good for that. But like I said, they do have the upper cabanas. They don't always seat those, especially nowadays. The business just isn't there for those. Uh, but you know, on the night swim nights, they may have those upper cabanas sat. Um, and occasionally, on a big enough night, they might have like a Memorial Day or something. They might even have a seating up there uh, as well. Now, kind of the worst tables in the club, if you will, we call this no man's land. That's going to be uh, way out back by the, uh, there's like a hot tub spa back in the back of the pool area. Uh, those are called the lawn tables, okay? We call that no man's land. And, uh, you know, nowadays they don't seat those that often because it's not that busy enough. Now, on the night swim, they do seat those. Generally, they'll put a lot of the comp tables and stuff back there. Not the best tables in the club. I, I don't really ever put my customers back there, so uh, you don't have to worry about that. But uh, th those are there, just so you know. If you book online and you don't know anybody and you buy the lowest best available table well you might get stuck in the lawn okay so don't, don't do that <laughs> make sure you hit me up before you before you book online and i can definitely uh, make you make your experience a little bit better so my number is 773-459-8133 uh, make sure you hit me up about access i can definitely set you up uh, with a deal um you can do a link direct or we can do my trade account and make a little uh, make a little better deal so let me know on that and uh we do packages as well for the girls we have like men's shows dinners packages limos make the night special we can even do a VIP entry if you don't want to do a bottle service table uh, we can make that happen and then for the guys we have like strip clubs you know shows um, we can also do like a really nice dinner with open bar and do a nice table over here at access we do a ton of those so um, looking forward to uh, working with you out here in Las Vegas if you like my content I would appreciate a like on the video and uh, do a go ahead and uh, subscribe to this channel for more and bang the notifications bell I'm Brian Pfeiffer signing out here from the uh, Encore Hotel at the Wynn Encore Complex and I'm looking forward to working with you at Access Nightclub. Let's talk soon. Bye.